Hey my Tomamins, it's me Jacob and welcome to this brand new video cause Rosalia once again just released a brand new single I don't know if this is gonna be for a brand new project of her or if this is gonna be like a follow up on the live like you love me it might be, but who knows and this is definitely um, something that she's taking apart um, from her previous project with Rao Alejandro so let's see, let's check it out and let's see how it goes with this brand new song that is called Tuya which means yours so um, just judging by the title this is gonna be referred to Rao Alejandro but this has nothing to do with the project as a previous set so let's see how it goes let's see how Rosalia is gonna show us maybe a brand new era as well so before you just get into this reaction remember that you can follow me in every social media at JJ Cavalera now let's check it out She's in Japan now. Oh wow, that's some raw vocals right there with some strings that kind of matches, you know, like Japan style. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of this uh, type of ancient, but ancient Japanese. And now she's so into reggaeton. I mean, I'm not against it, but I just rather prefer to do different things besides reggaeton, you know? There is like different influences that she could have taken in different places. Wow, that element kind of reminds me of anime, you know? I mean, I would rather a song that has like different flamenco or different vocals. And you know, this kind of makes sense. Um, do like a follow-up on her Motomami, which is not bad, but I would rather from her to take like a different direction. This is so kawaii. It, that's different. That's a way different production. You see, I like that mixture. That outro was amazing. There are different things that we have to consider just for this single and it is. First of all, I like to make sure that there is for this um, Japanese sound with like the urban um, reggaeton or kind of like influences that Rosalia has been like showing in different songs throughout her career like definitely uh there is like an influence in this culture and she relates to it you can think of different sounds and different songs that she has really so far as hentai just as an example of it and that kind of makes sense you know like it's related to that culture and she embraces it and that's really interesting on her uh, that tries like those different elements and I don't know like something uh, that really involves anime video games you know that that kind of style it's something that I really like but there is also the same exact formula with the reggaeton but the outro the outro was the really outstanding thing about this specific song and I would really like on her if she tries more this type of sound and not the regular dembow that there is always in every goddamn reggaeton song which is not bad, but I would rather for her to be more experimental in this type of music. So Rosalia, please move forward of 
the Motomami kiss. I mean, this is gonna be a really good transition if that's what you think it. If so, I would really appreciate it. And also, but that kind of hurts that Live Like You Love Me doesn't have a music video, but this song has it. So, girl, girl, come on. So, uh, well, this is my opinion. I want to read yours in the comments down below. Remember that you can follow me in every social media, as I told you before, at Jacobo Aguilera. Also, you can like this video and ring the bell so you can get any notification whenever I'm uploading a brand new video. And without further ado, let's see you in the next one.